What's up guys, that can mean who got Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 2, Episode 1, When She Was Bad. Okay, so, this episode starts off with our two, with my favorite character, Willow and Xander, just, talk, just in, it's been like a summer since we last saw them, and now that they're saying the, the show, and they've been, you know, like, answering movie questions, and doing and doing all that stuff when and and then and Will gets ice cream on her nose and you know and Xander you know like he kind of resists her feelings and kisses her but then a vampire just comes out and you think the master's dead why is there a vampire attacking and out of nowhere Buffy shows up and defeats him and yeah and, and Buffy's like, um, what? And then they're like, hey, where's Giles? And she's like, I don't know. I'll see him at school. And and they're like, we buried the master over in that cemetery. So that, so yeah. So then, so then after the the, it's kind of the same intro, just with new visuals and now enjoy the opening, but just with the same title card. But anyway. Bang, 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 I kind of still, I kind of don't like her dad. Like, her dad's not that bad. He's just, after what he said in that nightmare in in episode 11, he's just, in episode 10, I mean, in episode 10, after he said in that nightmare in episode 10, he just doesn't get any points from me. Sorry, bro, but it shouldn't have got, yeah, well, anyway. Buffy's, you know, like, Buffy has nightmares of, of God, of Master, she has, you know, like, she doesn't want to, like, you know, yeah. And even there's some new vampires around who want to resurrect the master. Even the anointed one who's still that kid calling, which, which, yeah. So, yeah, so, last season, Cordelia found out about Buffy being the vampire slayer and, and, and eventually joined the slayerettes, as I call them, until they get their actual name. But she eventually joined their team, but but Buffy's kind of acting cold to, towards Cordelia for some reason. Even though now that she knows her secret, she's like, Buffy, your 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 buff, your your vampire slaying secret is safe with me. And she's like, um, Cordelia. She basically says something mean to her, and and yeah. And though it's Buffy, yeah, there's something about Buffy this episode. She she. She disses, she cold, she coldly talks to Cordelia, she disses Angel, she even tries to, you know, like, dance with Xander, even though he's with, you know, Willow, and it's just like, what happened to Buffy? Like, some, some people saying that that's the traumatic experience from the master defeating him, gave her traumatic experience, causing her to get a cold demeanor, but, but, I just think that... It was just handled. I like this episode. It's just that they should have done more with this cold demeanor thing. Like, if last season someone died and Buffy had to, you know, like, carry on the weight of that, and it's sad, holding on that demeanor is okay. But this one, it just comes out straight out of the blue. She just comes back with this cold demeanor. It's just like, where did that come from? Like, why does she have it? Like, like she defeated the master. All great. She's still a slayer, but where did that come from? And even when when she's training with Giles, 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 she she's having flashbacks of the mask. She's just like, where did this cold demeanor come from? It would have been perfect if they like killed a random classmate of hers, and she would you know like, at the end, and she was so sad. She was close to that person. She would have this demeanor, but but just coming back and having this demeanor. Makes no sense. 
And that's why I don't, and that's the one thing I don't like about this episode. I do like it as an episode. I just don't like how it makes Buffy cold and the meat cold and mean without any, like, you know, reason to. Like, like, she comes back after being a summer away and just has this demeanor, like, makes no sense. Why does she have it? Why does she have this demeanor? It would make understandable. Yeah. And basically, later, when, when the vampires kill, wait, not kill, when the vampires, you know, attack her friend and kidnap Cordelia, Buffy is still on this whole, I need to do this alone stick, and it's just, that's what season one was. And it's just annoying how Buffy is back on this whole, I can't do this, I, I'm the only one that can do this, I'm the slayer. I need to do this. It's just so frustrating. I don't. I know that people might disagree with me about. I just. I just like William and Xander. That's why I find this frustrating. Cause I like them as characters. And for her to just go back to how she was in season one, before they join her gang and be like, I gotta do this alone. It's just. It's just. I just don't like it. And then she realizes that it could be from her dying. Like, like, the master killed her, could have brought her out of cold demeanor, but, but, I just, uh, this episode's great. I just have some problems with it. I have some problems. Buffy's demeanor, and her way she's icing her friends out. It's just like, it's just like, season one Buffy had to learn how to work with her team, as a team. But this season Buffy is basically just like, Oh yeah, I gotta do this on my own because I'm a slayer. Like it's just like, yeah. Well, anyway, back to the episode. Don't mind my rage. But anyway, Buffy realizes, Giles realizes that that you know that you know he just realizes that. Oh hey, they they set a trap for Buffy. Buffy goes back. She realizes it's a trap. Her friends are captured. Captured. I must have captured like that. I don't know why. Her friends are captured. She goes to defeat them. She goes to be the bad guys. She stops them. She destroys the master so he can never be revived. Her friends forgive her. And the episode ends. This episode isn't bad for premiere. It's great. I just have some problems with it as it's like set up. For me who never read the comments of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, if there are. I just don't get why she comes back with this demeanor. Like, they don't even say, Buffy doesn't even say at the end of the episode, oh, I came back with th this demeanor because of something. Like, her father even says that he couldn't connect with her. Like, like, like why? Like, why couldn't you connect with her? That's, that's the problem that I kind of have with this episode. This episode isn't bad in any sense. It's good. It's awesome. It, it's a better premiere than season one. Cause season one premiere was good, but it's just like it's just like, wait, what? She comes back and immediately she's cold to all her friends. Like, and she immediately just goes back to the oh I got this long season one type of character that was okay for season one, but you go to season two and now she has this cold demeanor where she, at least her friend. Well, anyway. Season 1, season, sorry, season 2 is getting off to a great start, I just, I just have one problem with this episode, Bobby's cool to me there, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, I'm not bashing the episode, the episode isn't horrible, it's great, I'm, yeah, so anyway, like, comment, subscribe, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next, Bobby's a vampire slayer.